so many different species here that one of the cool ways to be able to take more in, if you will, from your safari is put out a reconnaissance camera. And that reconnaissance camera, you put it on a, on a bait pile or a, a funnel point, a water hole, whatever, you're gonna see animals that you wouldn't even believe. I mean, it, you'd have to sit there for a long, long time, but that reconnaissance is gonna reveal anything that steps in front of it. Wildebeest are such cool animals. I mean, uh, their behavior is just spastic. You know, there's two different kinds of wildebeest here. There, there's gonna be the, the blues and the blacks, and they, they look similar, but then they look different. And we'll show you some videos so you kind of see the similarities, but you also see the differences. The blues uh, offer a little bit uh, better success rate than the blacks do, at least for me. And so uh, both of them, I mean, the meat is so unbelievable on them that uh, I mean, you look at it and you think, some people don't think they look pretty, but I do. There's a wildebeest right there. Coming in, he's coming in. here I stayed put I got I had giraffes in here rhinos in here and a nice big bull wildebeest well last night was a long night and anybody who's ever wounded an animal had to let it sit all night long knows exactly what I'm talking about but he didn't go but about probably 300 yards uh, this is a blue wildebeest I mean when you take a look at the the height on them I mean this a grayish blue and then I think one of the cool things about a wildebeest is the, is the horns. I mean, just take a look at this. This is a nice male. Uh, the horns are kind of sweeping. They've got a very long nose on them, but a mane on them. And they're just really cool animals. And uh, the shot, the, the exit shot was absolutely perfect. The entrance shot was a little bit further back. And that's the reason why we waited until this morning to, to get him. And a blue wildebeest is one of those animals that, uh, in my opinion, every time I come over here, I wind up taking one or two anyway. And if you're gonna come to the Eastern Cape of South Africa, I think a blue wildebeest is kind of like a staple to take. So anyway, this afternoon, I'm gonna be heading out. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna be going after, but there's plenty to go after. That's for doggone sure. 